Good morning and welcome to the tutorial on how to fill up your electronic IPCRF rating data collection system. So first is you're going to go to your my computer, locate where the zip file of your IPCRF rating is located. So in my case, this can be found here. All you have to do is to right click, copy, and go to your desktop paste the file. Now, if you have this file, all you have to do is to right-click that one and go to Extract All. So all you have to do is to click, just click this button here, Extract. And that one will create a folder called the IPCRF data package. So in this case, this can be found here. So all you have to do is to open those files and you can find two files which is the IPCRF rating collection form and the IPCRF rating collection form for senior high school. For secondary and elementary, use this IPCRF rating collection form. For the senior high school, use this IPCRF rating collection form for senior high school. Before you proceed, you have to create another file for this one. So. By double clicking that one, all you have to do is just to enable this file, then save another copy of this indicating the school where you belong. So save as, say for example, the name of your school, uh, DRBCS, then click save. Now, all the teachers in that school will input their rating here so first is to write the name of the teacher now as you can see the format is last name comma first name then middle initial so let's say right there comma so Select the position where you belong. Say, for example, this one. Your employee ID. Say, for example, that one. And the subject where area where you specialize. So just select the particular data, the subject where you specialize more. So say, for example, let's try this one. Now, just write the division where you belong. In our case, let's try Hingong City. Then the school ID of the school, of your school. Then write the school name. So let's try to input the full name of the school. Let's not use abbreviation. Then, next is the classification you need to fill in which classification where you where the school you belong. Now, in this rating here, this would refer to your objective uh, rating per KRA. So, just get your IPCRF and just input the. ratings here so say for example the highest is five so say for example let's have three four three four three four three four three three five okay so let's try that one Now, at the bottom, um, you will also require to write the timeliness of your IPCRF or your objective. So let's try that one. So after filling that up, you need to also fill up the 
your rater. Say for example, your school head. So, okay, so let's try. Then, after completing all the necessary information required, all you have to do is just click save. So, by clicking save, all the basic information is saved here. Now, for another teacher, you can again register another teacher. Say, for example, so let's try VIB subject area specialization. So right there, right, 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 right. So once you have already registered your rater, it also means that all the teachers in that school will have the rater the same as you. So just click save in that case. Now after, clear, after clicking save, again the form will be reset and there would be two uh, teachers have already recorded. Now, if you were going to utilize this data, it would create in the data sheet, you can find here all the summary of the teachers and their rating, including their position and their adjectival rating. In the summary sheet, you can also find here the consolidated number of uh, teachers' results based on their adjectival rating. So you can uh, you can find here who among what are the sum of your teacher who are performing. A very satisfactory in that particular subject or in that particular objective rating. Now in the average one sheet you can find here the proficiency and highly proficient number of our average teachers in your school who have the highly proficient proficient rating in average two sheet it would display the performance of your teacher per KRA. In the report sheet, this would display the quality, the efficiency of your teacher per objective. So how many of your teacher one is performing uh, high quality, high efficiency? Now, in the report sheet, you can also find there the performance of your teacher per subject. So the difference between a report sheet is that it is per position, per objective. While in the report underscore P sheet, that would be objective versus the subject. And in the report HP, this refers on the proficiency of your teacher, how many teachers are having a highly proficient and proficient performance. So once you are done, all you have to do is to fill out the prepared by right there. Say for example, this is submitted by um, Moves on. Permela J. Uh, say, for example, he is the master teacher. Um, one for the designation. 
certified true and correct, of course, by the school head. So, say for example, C and principal grade. So once this is done, all you have to do is to click finalize and lock. So finalizing means that all teachers' IBCRF ratings have been encoded and verified correctly. You will no longer be able to add or delete ratings once this tool is finalized. Would you like to proceed? Then click yes. So let's provide a password. So in our case, in the division, let's have a password of DEPEDHINGOO. So that's D-E-P-E-D-G-I-N-G-O-O-G. -E -E Again, D-E-P-E-D-G-I-N-G-O-O-G. -E -E so let's click Finalize. So once you are done, all you have to do is save that one and submit this file to the division office. So the division office will just consolidate the files indicating the name of your school. So that would be all. For more clarification, you can freely contact me through Facebook. Thank you and God bless.